Good morning everyone, Tina Spalding, Trance Channel, here today for our daily course in Miracles lesson together. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, today we are doing lesson number 155, I will step back and let him lead the way. There is a way of living in the world that is not here, although it seems to be. You do not change appearance, though you smile more frequently. Your forehead is serene, your eyes are quiet. And the ones who walk the world as you do recognize their own. Yet those who have not yet perceived the way will recognize you also and believe that you are like them as you were before. The world is an illusion. Those who choose to come to it are seeking for a place where they can be illusions and avoid their own reality. Yet when they find their own reality is even here, then they step back, back and let it lead the way. What other choice is really theirs to make? To let illusions walk ahead of truth is madness, but to let illusions sink behind the truth and let the truth stand forth as what it is, is merely sanity. This is the simple choice we make today. The mad illusion will remain a while in evidence for those who look upon for those to look upon who choose to come and have not yet rejoiced to find they were mistaken in their choice. They cannot learn directly from the truth because they have denied that it is so. And so they need a teacher who perceives their madness, but who still can look beyond illusions to the simple truth in them. If truth demanded they give up the world, it would appear to them as if they asked the sacrifice of something that is real. Many have chosen to renounce the world while still believing its reality and they have suffered from a sense of loss and have not been released accordingly. Others have chosen nothing but the world, and they have suffered from a sense of loss still deeper, which they did not understand. Between these paths there is another road that leads away from loss of every kind, for sacrifice, sacrifice and deprivation both are quickly left behind. This is the way appointed for you now. You walk this path as others walk, nor do you seem to be distinct from them, although you are indeed. Thus can you serve them while you serve yourself and set their footsteps on the way that God has opened up to you and them through you. Illusions, illusions still appear to cling to you that you may reach them. Yet it has stepped back and it is not illusion that they hear you speak of, nor illusion that you bring their eyes to look on and their minds to grasp. Nor can the truth which walks ahead of you, speak to them through illusions, for the road leads past illusion now, while on the way you call to them, that they may follow you. All roads will lead to this one in the end, for sacrifice and deprivation are paths that lead nowhere, choices for defeat, and aims that will remain impossible. All this steps back as truth comes forth in you to lead your brothers from the ways of death, and set them on the way to happiness. Their suffering is but illusion, yet they need a guide to lead them out of it, for they mistake illusion for the truth. Such is salvation's call and nothing more. It asks that you accept the truth and let it go before you, lighting up the path of ransom from illusion. It is not a ransom with a price. There is no cost but only gain. Illusion can but seem to hold in, in chains the Holy Son of God. It is but from illusions he is saved, and they step back. They find He finds himself again. Walk safely now, yet carefully, because this path is new to you, and you may find that you are tempted still to walk ahead of truth and let illusions be your guide. Your holy brothers have been given you to follow in your footsteps as you walk with certainty of purpose to the truth. It goes before you now that they may see something with which they can identify, something they understand to lead the way. Yet at the journey's ending there will be no gap, no distance between the truth and you, and all illusions walking in the way you travelled will be gone from you as well, with nothing left to keep the truth, apart from God's completion, holy as himself. Step back in faith and let truth lead the way. You know not where you go. But one who knows goes with you. Let him lead you with the rest. When dreams are over, time has closed the door and all the things that pass and miracles are purposeless. The Holy Son of God will make no journeys. There will be no wish to be illusion rather than the truth. And we step forth 
towards this as we progress along the way that truth points out to us. This is our final journey which we make for everyone. We must not lose our way, for as truth goes before us, so it goes before our brothers who will follow us. We walk to God. Pause and reflect on this. Could any way be holier or more deserving of your effort, of your love and of your full intent? What way could give you more than everything or offer less and still content the Holy Son of God? We walk to God. The truth that walks before us now is one with him and leads us where he has always been. What way but this could be a path that you would choose instead? Your feet are safely set upon the road that leads the world to God. Look not to ways that seem to lead you elsewhere. Dreams are not a worthy guide for you who are God's son. Forget not, he has placed his hand in yours and given you your brothers in, tr in his trust that you are worthy of his trust in you. He cannot be deceived. His trust has made your pathway certain and your goal secure. You will not fail your brothers nor yourself. And now he asks but that you think of him a while each day that he may speak to you and tell you of his love, reminding how great his trust, how limitless his love. In your name and his own, which are the same, we practice gladly with this thought today. I will step back and let him lead the way, for I would walk along the road to him. And that is our beautiful lesson for today. Lesson number 155, I will step back and let him lead the way. Let's see what Jesus has to say to us today. You are blessed beings indeed. I am that one that you know as Jesus. And this is one of the lessons that will bring you great peace and joy as you learn to surrender to a will greater than your own seemingly, but in accord with your desire for happiness. Many of you have lived unhappy lives, tortured with divorce and financial issues, health issues, weight problems, relationship problems, all of these things, but they are the devil you know. They are things that you have believed in in your own way because you have made them happen. They are demonstrations of your level of consciousness as you made those decisions throughout your life. Most of you that come to the course see that there is something incorrect about how you are creating and miscreating in this world. You see patterns of dysfunction, you see patterns of scarcity or poverty, you see uh, health issues and you think, ah, there's something wrong with what I am doing here. And yet those are the idols that you have been worshipping. Some of you worship the idol of poverty and scarcity and claim to want money but you are constantly speaking about how poor you are. You are constantly speaking about how much everybody else has and that you don't have anything. And the universe is listening. It reflects back to you your belief in your poverty. And so that is a, an idol that, that many of you worship, this idol of scarcity. Instead of looking at what you have, instead of looking at the abundant, abundance of vital life force even in your own body, instead of looking at the things that work on your body and instead of the one thing that doesn't work, you are worshipping that idol, strengthening that idol, and it will stay as long as you do that. When you begin to practice forgiveness and gratitude and look around the world each day to see the beauty, to see the love, to see the good in your brothers and sisters rather than their annoying habits you will begin to shift and change your frequency enough that you will see, ah, there is something that is being healed here. There is something that is changing and you will know that you did not know how to do it yourself. It is this course that is teaching you how to do it. And that is the other higher consciousness leading the way for you because you have all been taught incorrectly on this planet. And yet you came here, you came into this particular configuration of body, mind and uh, world to chase your idols. When you stop chasing your idols and start to chase peace and joy and happiness using all of these tools that you are learning in this course, 
you will have magnificent and miraculous transformations of all of those aspects of your life that used to call you, cause you pain. And so here we are approaching half the halfway mark in these lessons. Have we not had fun together doing this? Have we not enjoyed the peaceful communion that these lessons have brought you instead of the raucous battles of the world and the dramas of your families? Have these cool and quiet mornings together not been a joy? Well, there is more to come, dear ones. There is more to come. Keep coming to these lessons each day as this blessed being does, even though it's not always convenient, even though she has to scramble sometimes to get these lessons to you. She remembers this dear friend. She remembers these beautiful words and she knows that this book has changed her life and in fact saved her life. I am that one that you know is Jesus, and I will see you again tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.